Well, how's this for creative, using paintball guns to get rid of invasive species? Pretty cool. It's actually a little more complicated than that, but that's part of the technology scientists are using on Kauai. Using these paintball guns attached to helicopters, University of Hawaii scientist Dr. James Leary and his crew are battling invasive plants. They spent six years developing herbicide ballistic technology, a combination of paintball guns and herbicide capsules. The process in manufacturing of these herbicide capsules is identical to the processing of the paintballs used in recreation. But instead of targeting people in recreation, we'll be targeting incipient weeds in these natural areas. Once they spot invasive plants like myconia that are hard to reach by foot in the deep forests of Kauai, they point and shoot. Well, we won't deny that it's not fun. That, that part we figured out. That was, that was the easy part to figure out was how much fun is it. <laughs> so. Myconia, also known as the Purple Plague, is already prevalent on the Big Island, according to Leary, and has devastated other islands like Tahiti by taking over two thirds of the forest there, according to the Hawaii Invasive Species Council. Safety's off. Now, big concern is its aggressive nature in critical habitats where we have endangered species, where those plants aren't as competitive. This is a, a very competitive plant and will exclude other native vegetation. To address environmental concerns, Leary has been working with the Hawaii Invasive Species Council and state agencies to regulate its use. The technology that we're using in HBT is the encapsulation of millialiquots of herbicide so that we can identify the lowest amount of herbicide necessary for effective control on these incipient weeds in these areas. Leary and his crew are focusing on Kauai, Maui, and Oahu to tackle myconia and other invasive plants. The key is to detect early and execute. We get a better return on our investment when we can target those smaller, isolated patches to prevent them from becoming huge problems. Leary has conducted three operations since last year, and they're planning another one next month on Maui and one on Oahu in Manoa this fall.